Norman goes for a run. Asterisk 818 a.m. Asterisk. Norman was anxious. His train had been delayed. The next train was up and across another platform. The problem was, Norman disliked to run. Each morning, he would take a little extra care to look presentable. He didn't want to compromise his look and comfort. If I walk briskly, I should make it, Norman thought. A crowd gathered by the escalator. Normally, he would shuffle along and stand on the right. But there was no time. Norman goes around to the left and walks up. As he nears the top, he glances down. Asterisk 8.19 a.m. Asterisk. Feeling nervous, Norman hastens his step. However, he knew that crossing the platform to the next train without interruption was a challenge. It was a large area with hundreds of people zipping by and a group of activists engaging any passerby. Norman proceeds and tries to avoid eye contact. To his surprise, people were yielding to him. The activists had found other people to distract. With a sigh of relief, Norman firmly kept his stride. Asterisk 8.20 a.m. Asterisk. The next train was scheduled to leave, but the doors remained open. Norman was worried. There was roughly 30 feet of ground to cover. To make his transfer, he would have to do it. Norman, as fast as he could without sprinting, clutches his backpack and runs. Simultaneously, the doors started to close. Right before they could shut, Norman propels his right hand forward between the doors, preventing it from closing. The train conductor noticed and reopens the doors. Norman steps inside and catches his breath. The onlooking commuters nodded approvingly. As the train begins to depart, Norman turns and gazes at the reflection in the door window. His face lightens. He still looked presentable. 